Alrighty, here is your tonight's forecast for Minnesota into west central Wisconsin. Oops, let's go back. It's kind of tired, I'm kind of on edge. Uh, how do we go? Was it this trigger? Yep. Okay. As we are, we're on browser on Xbox One. And um, we have winter weather advisories across Michigan, the upper. The upper head of Michigan into Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin, into far northeastern Minnesota. Well, over here we have some special reports into Twin Cities, into southeastern Minnesota, Rice and Goodhue County, and then Scott and Riasme, Hennepin, Dakota, other counties around there is in a special weather statement. Um. There's some other special weather statements by the Moorhead region, but not really confirmed in Minnesota. But let's take a look at the Twin Cities, shall we? See if it works. There we go. Clicked on it. I knew who we got. Hazardous weather statements for northern Minnesota, I guess. In the Brainerd region, Fergus Falls, Hinkley. St. Cloud is kind of out of the special weather statement, but they're pretty, pretty close to the borderline of it. Minneapolis, St. Paul, Red Wing. Um, is all other areas that's under this special weather statement is Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and whoever's in the winter weather advisory is Hayward, Wisconsin, Rice Lake, Wisconsin, and down south for Rochester, Albert Lee, Mankato, Marshall, Worthington. Nothing is happening yet. Who knows? But they did say a low chance of ice for southern Minnesota. Not all of it though. But let's take a look at the special weather statement. Anywho, the special weather statement is for Hennepin, Onolka, Rasby, Washington, McLeod. Some of these counties I might not say correctly, sorry about that. Um, Mile Lax, Kennebec, Benton, Benton Sherburn, is, t is Tanty, Chicago, right? Hennepin, Onolka, Onolka, Rasby, Washington, McLeod, Sibley, Carver, Scott, Dakota, Leesmer. Rice, Goodhue, Pierce, Pepin, Eau Claire, including the cities of Princeton, Mora, Forey, Elk River, Cambridge, Center City, Monticello, Minneapolis, Blaine, St. Paul, Stillwater, Hutchinson, Gay Gaylord, says it right there too. Chaxa, I think. Shakope. Shakope. Got my homie in Shakope. He's gonna be listening into this. Hastings, Lisa Murray, Fairbolt. Cities of Faribault as far down south, Red Wing, River Falls, Prescott, Durand, Durland, Durand and Eau Claire issued at 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time as of today, basically, Wednesday, today. Area of freezing drizzle expected Thursday morning to early afternoon. Areas of mixed precipitation most Mostly in the form of freezing drizzle would develop mid to late morning Thursday and then persist into the morning mid-afternoon before turning to drizzle or ending. Temperatures will be below freezing as precipitation begins, but could slowly rise above freezing during the afternoon. The tail end of the morning commute will be impacted, may be impacted. Conditions should improve by the evening commute with precipitation, rain I think, ending in temperatures a degree or two above freezing. Ice accumulation will be light, less than, less than tenth, of, tenth of an inch, so 0 0.10, less than 0 0.10 inches. However, any amount of ice can create very bad conditions because it gets slippery and car crashes, you know what I mean? Even if, even if it's just a little bit, still enough to cause some travel impacts. The patchy nature of this precipitation could leave some icy spots on roads, bridges, sidewalks, and sidewalks. With other areas remaining dry, expect, expect the possibility of hazardous conditions at any time, even if it's not currently pre precipitation, precipitation, I think something like that and this is a special weather statement for Marshall Roberts Day Clark including the cities of Britain Kidder Kidder oh, I think I said Kidder right um Sisseton Webster Wheel Bay Clark and Hillcrest Colony 103 p.m. As of today, one gusts around 40 miles per hour would continue across portions of Marshall Day, Roberts, and Clark counties in the next few hours. Big, the potential for drifting snow 
and then reduced visibility will be a potential in this statement. This is from South Dakota, though, but I think these are some of these counties are in Minnesota, but they're in a different region, you know, a different National Weather Service office. Winter Weather Advisory issued from the Twin Cities, Chant Hassan. I'm just going to show you guys. You guys can take a few minutes. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see better. Basically, what we're seeing is mixed particular Mixed precipitation is expected, basically, like glaze of ice. Total snow accumulations up to one half of an inch, so 0.50 of snow. That's all I'm seeing is, so 0.10 inches of ice and 0.50 for, you know, snow. 0 0.50 for snow, 0 0.10 for ice. Basically, your forecast for tomorrow is basically ice. Watch out. Um, there's some weather stories here. We can get through this quick before ending the video. Um, anywho, freezing drizzle likely Thursday, which is tomorrow. Let me show you here. There we go. Areas of drizzle will drop Thursday morning. The best chance will be northwest Wisconsin. Accumulations up to 0 0.10, 0 0.10 inches of Ice is possible. Temperatures, don't mind about these lotion things here. It's just hand lotion or whatever. Temperatures will warm to near or just above freezing in the afternoon, improving slick conditions. So there's your chance for freezing drizzle. The highest into Wisconsin, into Chicago, all of Chicago counties in the highest. Anywho, or along the Minnesota borderline, as long as you get down to the cities, it decreases, and then it decreases down south in southern Minnesota. And this is a very low chance to pine. Little to nothing for ice, but over here is, just, you know, the chances increase. But the main thing, the reason why there's a winter weather advisory is because of this right here. The highest chance for freezing drizzle and snow. Anywho. I guess that's your forecast, unless that's pretty much what they're forecasting. Hazardous outlook, probably just like I said, the freezing drizzle and the ice. Be careful. Let's go back to the. If we can, I guess, I guess not. Oh, weather.gov. Okay. Let's do a quick, quick recap across the nation. Flash flood advisories into Michigan. I've seen this earlier. Around here in Michigan, it's supposed to get in the middle. Usually, it said right here, four to six inches of rain expected. You know, so like it's a range between one inch of rain to like seven inches of rain. Whoever's in the flash flood watches. So, this is a statewide flash flood, flash flood watch. So, beware, even into Michigan. Michigan is also in it, as you see it lures into it, and I think these are just hydraulic outlooks, I think, so possible flooding. High wind watches across the country, right here, high wind warnings into the mountains, a lot of winter stuff right here, but it's pretty quiet. Let's get to the climate quick, your temperature forecast. So this is your Thursday temperature outlook, basically. For Thursday, tomorrow, as you see there, Thursday, January 9th, 2020. As you see, we're going to keep going here. See all the temperatures warm up. When they talk about the freezing drizzle, all oh, it's getting above freezing and getting closer and closer. And see how all of the southern Minnesota is under above freezing temperatures into Wisconsin. As we keep pushing, all the warm air pushes upwards into northern Wisconsin, which creates the ice and stuff. And and the temperature should go, go go back down throughout Friday morning. Commute it gets colder. Into Saturday it gets even colder, and it just gets worse than that. And then like cools off. Another cold blast coming in from the west. Wow. Here comes the worst. Look at that, negative 25, negative 35, comes on in into Minnesota. There we go, got that pink, which is, yeah, look at that, negative 20s. And it just keeps pushing by. 
gets a warm up, a little warm up, and then it comes back down again. Basically, more cold. Look at that. It's just an ongoing battle throughout the state. And it gets warmer. It gets warmer over there. That's the same above temperatures. Let's go back a little bit here. Let's see how it gets above freezing. Yeah. All right. There's your forecast for tonight. Hope you enjoy. Um, if you want, subscribe. You know, it's fine if you don't. Hope you guys have a good night. Peace out.